Uh, welcome back. I'm Abdi Muhammad Nur. I'll be taking you for one math tonight. And our topic, subtopic in discussion will be linear equations in two unknowns. This is where most of the students have got problem, but I'll try uh, my best to help you uh, as far as uh, my knowledge content is concerned. Now we will start this one. When you turn linear equations in two unknowns, you will have two unknowns that may be x and y or b and q. You will have two unknowns, then you are expected to get the value of the unknowns. Then what you are going to do is, uh, let's see, because this is this will result what you normally call simultaneous equations. Simultaneous equations are either solved by use of elimination method or substitution method. Starting with the uh, elimination method, let's see how we are going to solve by elimination method. By elimination method. Let's see this one. Example one. We are told solve the following. Solve the following. Solve the following simultaneous equations. Simultaneous equations. Simultaneous equations and using by let's say by elimination method. By elimination method. So the first one you have in this what? The first one is a plus b is equal to seven. Then we have under that we have a minus b, which is uh, five. So the first thing you are, ex you are supposed to know is uh, there are so many ways to solve this thing, but I'll make sure to use the simpler method. Here we will check the two middle numbers as far well as my method of solving is concerned, eh? we will check the two middle uh, quants. Just now check it. Phenotypically or physically, they are the same. Only that they have variation or difference in size. So what you're going to say is, so far we have confirmed that these two are same, despite the fact that they have different signs. What you're going to say is uh, different sign add. We will write here DSA, meaning different sign add. So we will add now. Add. 7 plus 5 is 12, is equal to, these two will cancel, why? Right? Because this one is positive b, and this one is what? Minus b. So the moment you say positive b plus minus b, it will be positive b minus b, which will result 0. So cancel now. Add these two, it will be 2a. Then, to get a divided here too, we have also 2. Cancel them. We will have a is equal to 6. Remember, we have two uh, unknowns here. Then we must also get the other one, but say now, but say, but a plus b is equal to 7. Check in equation 1. Then we will, we will substitute the value of a here to get the value of b. We are going to say 6 plus b is equal to 7. Then take this one to our side, it will be b is equal to 7 minus 1. Then b will be, so that's 7 minus 6, b will be 1. Then you have to confirm whether these answers you have gotten are right. Just go back to the equation, say, six, A is what? 6. 6 plus B, the value of B, which is 1, it will be 7. Then again, 6 minus 1, it will give us 5. So these two values are right. Then let's go ahead and see a situation where the two middle numbers are not the same. Let's see such situation like this one. Let's see example 2. Or let's say this from a 2. Then we have here 5m plus 2n is equal to 19. Then we also have 3m minus uh, 4n is equal to 1. Remember you have two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. Then when you come to the solution part, let's come to the solution part. Take these two, we have 5m plus 2n is equal to 19. Then you also have down there 3m minus 4n is equal to 1. Then come here and then say, check now the two numbers, the two middle numbers. They are all the same. So what you do, make them the same, yeah? Equalize them. So what am I going to do then? 
I'll say like this, I'll place here two, that will evict the whole row, this whole row, then I'll also place here one, so that four here remains the same. Five times two is ten, plus two times two n is four n, is equal to two times 19 is that eight. Remember this number is going to evict the whole row, then one times three is what, three n, minus one times four n is four n, is equal to one. Then, so far you make these two same, what you say now, check again, check the, two, the signs here. We have positive and negative, then you're going to say, give it a sign, add again. So we add, add them. Here, we'll have that 9 is equal to, cancel these two because they're same, but they are having different sign. Add these two now, we'll have that 10. Then to get the value of M now, divide both sides by that 10. Divide both sides by that 10, cancel. M therefore is equal to by that 10, 1. By that in the read. Now we have gotten the value of n. Then let's go back and see how we are going to get the value of uh, other unknown which is n in this situation. We are going to say 5m plus 2n is equal to 19. Taking equation 1. Taking what? Equation 1. Then substitute the value of m there in the equation. Remember here we have 5m. It means 5 times the value of m. So we are going to say 5 times 3 plus 2n is equal to 19 then it will be 15 plus 2n is equal to 19 then take this one to the other side it will be 2n is equal to 19 minus uh, 15 then 2n is equal to what 4 to get the value of uh, n divide both sides by the coefficient of n which is 2 then 2 cancel n is equal to by 2 1 by 2 2 so this is the final answer if you want to confirm now get this one is then substitute here we have 5 5m plus 2n must give us what? 19. So the moment you say 5 times 3, which is the value of m, it, is, it will be 15 plus 2 times 2, 4. That will result what? Uh, 19. Okay, let me add for you one more example. Let me add for you one, what? one more example. Let's go ahead and see this one. Let us see this one. We have uh, x minus 15y is equal to 3. Then we also have we also have two x plus three y is equal to is equal to uh, let me check it's equal to what thirty nine. Then check now the two middle numbers are not the same again. So what you are going to do is and uh, for your information what we'll be doing is check this is the equal sign. Yeah? Don't get confused. This is the equal sign is equal to three. So what you're going to do here is. Then check, they are not the same. Here 5, here 1 goes. Because I want to make this 2 15 in each case. 1 times x is x minus 1 times 15 is 15 1. Is equal to 3. Remember this is equal to 5 times 2 is 10. 10x 10 plus this times this. Uh, again, 15 1. Is equal to 5 times. Remember this is 5. This is what? 5. 5 times that 9, and that is 195. Then check the sign. After you make the two middle numbers the same, check the sign. The sign is of different, yeah? Yeah, of course, here we have minus and here we have positive. Then we're going to say different sign, add again. So add them. When you add, we will have 198 is equal to. Cancel these two because they're same, but they're having different sign. So add these two, 11x. Then to get the value of x, divide both sides by 11. Cancel this one again. x is equal to. 18. The moment you divide 198 by 11, you'll get 18. Then for you to get the value of uh, and the other variable, the other unknown here, which is now an y, then take one of the equations. We can now take this one here. We can take equation 2. We can say, but, say, but 2x plus 3y is equal to 39. Then it will be 2 times 18 plus 3y is equal to 39. So it will be that 6 plus 3y is equal to 39. Take this one to the other side. You will have 3y is equal to 39 minus that 6. Then you will have 3y is equal to subtract this 2, 3. Then divide both sides by 3 to get the value of what? y. Cancel. Then you will have y is equal to by 3, 1 by 3, 1. So this is how we are going to solve simultaneous equations using elimination method. Don't forget making the middle numbers the same, then checking the sign. 
sometimes you may have the two signs being the same like positive or negative you're going to see that then that is as far as our class of today is concerned meet you next time